2022 Nike Cross Nationals, the end of the cross country season. Here with Tammy Drawn, the head coach for Great Oak High School out of Temecula. This, uh, this weekend, competing at Temecula Cross Country Club. It's been a very interesting season. I know the group has some high expectations. Coaches never think they're going to have be hit with you know sicknesses and little things here and there. The group had that this year, and I think a lot of teams thought, okay, they're they're not as strong this year. And if you look closely, you know it's a good squad, and they showed that down the stretch. They ran really well, Division One state champions, and I think outside of your inner circle and maybe a few others. I think a lot of people didn't see that coming. And it was kind of interesting after the team won, a couple of people said, ah, that's unfortunate that San Clemente had a bad day. And I looked at the stuff and I said, they didn't have a bad day. They had their day. It's just that Great Oak is back. They did what they can do. My question to you, um, when things were, when kids were sick and the results weren't quite what everybody was hoping for, how did you keep them focused as a team? What was the message? It was, a little, it was hard at times. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always easy. We, it, it started even with Woodbridge, where mm -hmm. they were healthy, um, and they did fine. As a matter of fact, we, we did as well as most Great Oak teams had right. done on that course mm -hmm. and over history. Um, but it was a little bit rough for them to have expectations of doing really well for the season and, and have a... a place at Woodbridge that wasn't what they expected so we already had that and then um, we had an experience in Idaho that was pretty humbling for the team and I think all of that came from the team feeling like that they were going to be state champions more easily than it turned out to be and there was a turning point after that. They had to decide whether they were in it to really win it or they were going to give up when it, it got a little hard. I was just impressed with them. Every time I asked them to make a change, every time I asked them to think about something differently, I asked them to come up with a list of things that, that they needed to do differently after Idaho, and they never once approached it with a prideful attitude it was always humility it was always how can we work together as a team how can we make this better and they they always came back to the work they always did the work they always did the work positively and happily every single day at practice they, they never stopped working so then when we were hit with a month of sickness with seriously every childhood illness that anybody has ever had we had all of them in a row so after, even after all of that, whoever was healthy kept working. And I, I think that was the, the bottom line, is that they kept communicating with each other and with me. They, they handled themselves very maturely. And I think it really showed when we, when we were getting ready for postseason. Um, I don't know if this is all what you wanted, but, but in postseason, we, we went to prelims with the plan, we went to finals with the plan, and, and we were taking a risk. We had a runner that we were holding out intentionally because of injury. And we were, we were working towards state. Everything was in the basket for state, not for CIF finals, um, Southern Section finals. So, so as we headed into state, it was knowing we had done everything we could to make the team healthy, to get everybody on the same page. We, we knew we had worked to that point the very best we could with the situation of the season. And quite frankly, we knew after Southern Section Finals that, that we had a really good shot at winning state. The boys knew it. They knew we always believed in them constantly. Um, and when we got to state, they executed the plan perfectly. As a coach, it was the coolest experience to watch them run that race. I saw them between 1K and a mile. And as they came through, it, it was like, they were, they were doing what came right out of our heads as coaches. It was beautiful. And quite frankly, after two miles, I, I knew they were going to win. And then <laughs> it was, that was actually the most nerve-wracking part was, oh, my, we're, we're really going to do this. It's, it's really going to happen. Um, 
So then they came here, and quite frankly, they are the most mature group of boys to work with. When any other group is is just you know losing their mind and going a little bit crazy, these boys are calm and quiet and focused and and ready to work. They're ready to do what needs to be done. And I think today, if we just if we just had a runner that could have popped into the top ten, then it it may have been a little different outcome. But um, but but we'll take it. We'll take it as a at the end of a season where we never lost faith in them. We knew this could happen. And, and we're just, frankly, grateful to be here. Speaking a little bit about today, uh, looking at some of the results from different different teams across the country and, and great and Temecula and Great Oak, the runners were very solid, very consistent, carried over from last week very well. Uh, Nathan Lennox had a, had a nice pop today, too, as well. That was nice he to did. see. Uh, in a sense, as far as that goes, all in all, what did you think? Given and you mentioned, you know, you you guys were hoping maybe to do a little bit better. But I, mean, I see stuff. You guys did phenomenal. Um, what was your message to the team afterward? The message was you did a great job. I mean, what what are you going to say at the end of a, a season like this where they right. they pulled out their state championship where we did exactly what we said we could do? Mm -hmm. um, and I won't tell you what my three hopes and goals were for today because I don't necessarily <laughs> need your audience to know all of them, but. But one of them was to be in the top ten at least. Mm -hmm. So so as far as we were concerned, the boys did that. The other thing that they did today was that they showed that their state championship win was not a fluke. Right. And to us, that was incredibly important. We needed to show that that we really did know where we were going, that we were, were headed there at the end of the state championship season, and, and that today proved we belonged where we were. So... So we're we're good with that. We just we need to, as a coach, I'm always working on like what's the next step. So even even today, you know, I have quite a few seniors on the team. So so now I'm already okay. Who are my who are my next probable top seven, and what do we do as we work toward track to get ready for this? So before the Southern Section Finals, I was talking to one of my reporters, and he was asking me, okay, how do you see Division One lining up? I said, well, everybody thinks it's going to be San Clemente. They've improved so well. Great Oak has them within reach, and they're getting healthier and healthier by the week. So I could see them winning. St. Clemente won Southern Section, but it was the same situation in state, and the team's getting even you know, a little bit, little bit healthier even then. They pulled out of state, and the thing in my mind was kind of the same thing you just mentioned. I didn't want anybody to think this was a fluke because the, the team came through and did their job. I'm like, okay, they got one more week at Nationals. These two teams here again, and I kind of figured, you know what, they're going to want to try and make sure to beat that team, which they did, which they did. It was pretty neat to see because St. Clemente obviously had a great season as well. The question that I have is really, when 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 things were being tested, obviously that's when character reveals itself. But at the same time, you know, a foundation is planted early. What what was the main key? What was the main thing in that foundation that was established early this season or this summer? that carried you guys through? I, I definitely think it was this summer. So took the team to Mammoth, both teams. And in Mammoth, we set goals. And then we made large posters out of these goals. And the posters are in my classroom where it's very clear what they wanted to achieve. And the goals were high. But I'm also a very logical person and coach and wouldn't allow the team to set goals beyond what we felt like they could reach. Um, as, as teams. So the goals were different for, for each of the teams, but on the boys' list, it's to win state. So the reminder was always there from the very beginning. We believed it could happen. We believed we had the team that could make it happen. And we just kept coming back to that. And the feeling in Mammoth was incredible. The team bonding, the, the, the strength training. We did one crazy workout where we literally ran to the top of Mammoth Mountain. I don't know, if you've never done it, you should try it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty incredible. And and as I ran to the top of Mammoth Mountain to be there before the team got there so that I could see them as they as they crested the top, the fact that they were just, oh, my gosh, I just did that. And several times through the season, we would hear references to workouts or things that we had done in Mammoth where it was, hey, remember, we can run to the top of a mountain. I, I think it's all about – that foundation of we set our goals in a way in a place in a time where we're building the team and we're 
building the team through fantastic workouts, but also in a bonding environment where they, they really believe in each other and they connect with each other. And quite frankly, these boys, that, that extra part for these boys is that they believe in each other. They're really committed to each other. They communicate well with each other. It's commitment to team from all of them. It's not commitment to self with a little bit of, I wanna make sure the team does well. It's complete and total commitment to the team. What can I do personally and individually to make the team better? And because of that selflessness, then they can put it all together. They can put the, the great foundational pieces that we put together in the summer with all of their personal commitment and, and then it just naturally, it naturally turns into a beautiful thing. Last question. The uh, cross country nowadays, it's, it's much tougher to coach now than it was last year, two years ago, three years ago. It's incrementally definitely tougher. Uh, a lot more attention, uh, a lot more media coverage, a lot more social media noise in a sense. Um, so it's tough for a coach. As a coach, what have you learned about yourself during this journey so far? I don't think you have long enough for that. <laughs> uh, all of those revelations. I Because um, obviously you've definitely excelled and built something very oh, special. Well, thank you. I, um, I feel like I'm a person that always gives my best, whatever whatever the situation is. And and if you, you ask me what I feel confident about or that I do really well, I would say I am a kick butt physics teacher. You walk into my classroom and you're gonna learn physics in a really awesome way. Um, coming in the way I did after COVID and after a very successful coach was really humbling and very hard. So the honest answer is that the last two years have been really difficult. Um, in the end, I don't wanna be emotional. Um, in, the, in the end, what I've learned is that the reason I took this job um, was because I believe in kids. I believe in the power of running to, um, sorry, to change lives. And I believe that when you, um, when you really love the kids you coach and you love the, um, the culture of your school, I really believe in Great Oak High School and I really believe in our culture and I, I believe when you put all that together, then um, your shortcomings become strengths over time. And I believe that I'm, I'm learning more and more and more about how to take my running knowledge and apply that to high, sc high school cross country environment, which is always a little tricky, especially when you have a huge number of runners and you're trying to individualize everything. Um, but I'm becoming more and more confident in that I know what I'm doing and and it's okay that I don't have as much experience as, as somebody else, that, that the relationships we're building with kids is, is really what will help them develop lifelong love of learning. And, and at the end of the day, that's what I really want. Just, just wrapping up, I'll just make an observation. In the couple of years that I've seen you coaching, the one thing that I've noticed very much so is a person who is quietly confident in the mission she's taken on. And I can see professionalism in class and when I see that I'm thinking these kids are going to be in great shape and if adversity comes along they'll be just fine because she's a straight shooter herself and that's exactly what we're seeing what we're seeing so it's awesome to witness continued success great job this year state champions also very well here at nationals Tammy Drawn, Great Oak High School Temecula XC Club thank you <laughs>